Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Out here cruising around in the Tacoma, and I got to thinking, after something horrible happened to me a couple of days ago, that, you know, illegal Toyota Tacoma mods just aren't worth it. Now, let me tell you what happened and how I came to this conclusion. The other day, I had to take my Jeep Gladiator in for an inspection because here in South Texas, I think Texas altogether, you have to get your vehicle inspected once a year before you can get your new registration, which you have to get once a year. So I took mine in and I've been waiting for something to happen because there are a couple of things on that Jeep Gladiator that aren't technically legal. So I take it in, the inspector does his thing. By the way, cost to have it done is $7, whether you pass or not. So I take it in, he does his thing, and he comes walking out. It's never good when they come walking out. You know, if they come walking out without paperwork in their hand, you know there's a problem. And he says, come here, let me show you something. I'm like, oh, great. So we walk into the bay where he's doing his thing, and he tells me that my window tent is illegal. And it was. He puts his little meter up there, the same ones that the cops use, I guess, and it comes back at 15%. Now, legal in Texas, he tells me, is 25. Uh, so, he won't pass the truck. He won't pass the truck unless I remove the tent. And, go figure, he happens to have somebody there who will remove the tent. So, I had the tent removed. Now, I did have an option. I could have gone to a different inspection station you know, they don't all look for the same things all the time. And my mother, who happens to have the last Jeep Gladiator I had, uh, has window tent because I had it put on. It's the same as what was on my Gladiator, and hers just passed in December. So I just didn't want the hassle. You know, I'd had to screw with it every time, and maybe the other place wouldn't have passed it either. I mean, you know, how many places are you going to go to before you just throw in the towel and say, take it off? So they took it off. It was just the front two windows. Cost me $15, which, by the way, was a deal. It would have cost me somewhere between 40 and 60 bucks to have that taken off at a shop, a tent shop. Of course, I could have done it myself, but I was there. I wanted it done. So how does that bring me to the Tacoma? Well, the Tacoma gets to be inspected this year as well. Uh, in October and I have a couple of things that may or may not be legal the first one is the exhaust it is a louder exhaust I don't think it's loud enough to cause a problem but if they were to throw a decibel meter or something back there and crank it up and maybe floor it I don't know maybe it would be I'm not sure the other is the tires you know, I have some wheel poke on this truck. It's probably about yeah, a couple inches or so. I mean, it's not heavy, it's not huge. But nonetheless, you're not supposed to have tires that stick out past your fenders, and I understand why. I mean, it's a safety thing. You know, you don't want to be throwing junk and garbage into people behind you. I get it, I've had windshield chips and stuff. This is not good, but anyway. It's possible that I could go in and they say your tires are too far out, you gotta do something about that or we won't pass you. Now, let me say that in that instance, I definitely would go to a different inspection site. You know, no way am I gonna go out unless I absolutely have to and spend however much money to get different wheels because that's what makes my tires poke out because of the offset and get different wheels to conform. Um, there is another, and this one is the most concerning of the bunch, at least from a hassle standpoint. And I think the fact that I, I know I might have to do something, and that is the window tent. The window tent in my Tacoma is every bit as dark as it was in the Jeep Gladiator that I just had to have removed. It's probably 15%. Now, one thing I do want to mention, when I say 15%, what I had put on was 26% which is 1% above legal. However, your truck comes with window tent already in the windows. So when you add 26% plus the window tent that's already there, that's how you get to that 15% problem. But anyway, I'm sure that if they put their meter up against my window 
I would have the same problem. Although I do think this time around, I'd probably spend the extra seven bucks and go to a different testing site just to see if I could get it passed through. And by the way, I will be going to the site that my mother goes to on the next time around. We did not go to the same site where hers passed and mine didn't. Now, I mentioned, you know, illegal Toyota Tacoma mods aren't just worth it or aren't worth it. And I think it's true. You know, the hassle factor of having to deal with it, let alone the money that you spend, you know, mentioning the tires, the wheel and tire setup, if it were to happen that I would have to have those replaced, it would be ridiculously expensive. I mean, it's one thing to do a mod that you don't really need. I mean, let's face it, it comes with perfectly fine wheels and tires. You don't have to go out and put new wheels and tires on. So it's one thing to do that once, but to have to do it repeatedly, that would be a bummer. Now, there is an option. Of course, you can keep the original set, which I could have done. And then when you go in to have the inspection done, you put the original set back on the truck because they're, they're legal. They will pass inspection. I could have done that, but again, you get to the hassle factor. Do I really want to be lugging around, changing tires? I mean, those suckers are heavy. It's a workout to change aftermarket bigger tires on a Tacoma. They're quite heavy. Maybe I'm just old. I don't know. Probably a, a bit of both, but not something that I'm willing to do. Now, the window tent, you know, I've had a couple questions on the other channel. Would you go ahead and replace it? Uh, I'm thinking about it. I may replace it, but I will only replace it if I can stay legal. I'm not going to go back to the 15% that I ended up with before because I just don't want to screw with it. Uh, you can get pulled over, too. You know, one thing the guy at the inspection site told me, he said, you know, the local police here are not too concerned about it, but the highway or state police are. He told me that they will pull people over for tent and you will get a, I think he said you get a fine or you get a fix it ticket. What that means is you have to fix it, get rid of the tent or go legal, have it tested, and then go to the courthouse and prove that you did what they said you were supposed to do. Just more hassle. You know, they do it that way intentionally because they don't want you to keep screwing with it. They want you to be legal and be done with it. Anyway, I don't think it's worth it. If you live in an area that's not very strict, then hey, why not? It's like gambling. You know, you take a chance. Eh. Leave a comment. Let me know. Ever had to take your vehicle in for inspection or maybe been pulled over somewhere and uh, had to do something about a mod that you installed? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, also with Illegal 10, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay legal out there. Bye.